Hi, my name is Isha Adnan. I'm a senior and I've been in the CUNY BA program for two years. Um, my area of concentration is global politics and economy of the oppressed. And I just spent my winter session in Ghana for a study abroad experience. And knowing that I want to work internationally one day, um, I knew that I needed to get a grasp on what other people need and what other cultures require to help them progress and develop. And that's why I decided to do a study abroad. Um, I really wanted to make sure my study abroad had a service learning experience to it. Um, I did not just want to sit in a classroom and like study all the time. I did want some hands-on experience. And so I chose to travel to Ghana, um, Lagoon, Ghana. And over there, our service experience was volunteering with community hospitals. It was amazing. I feel like amazing is an understatement. Um, there were definitely some bumps in the road. Uh, I don't think I was prepared to probably face my living conditions, uh, but despite everything, I came back with just a more enlightened mindset on what, what Ghanaian people are like and um, what parts, or at least parts of West Africa look like being able to travel throughout the country. Um, we were volunteering with the community hospital there and just learning about their level of healthcare and their level of protocols was really important and also learning that they prefer to make sure that because we were obviously in like maternity wards and labor wards because um, my course was on the reproductive health and cultural impact on reproductive rights and so just being in that hospital and like being in labor wards and maternity wards and knowing that all the doctors really care about um, the connection between a mother and her child. Uh, a mother and, a, and their child are never separated um, until I think two days. Like the child will not be going out to like get a vaccine or the doctor's not taking this child away like right after birth to do their vaccines or their height and their weight. They, they know that the connection between that mother and the child is so necessary and important in those first couple of hours so they just leave them be. My trip was completely funded by scholarships. Um, part of the scholarships came from CUNY BA. Um, the CUNY BA has a Barbara Price Opportunity Fund um, which I was awarded uh, and then also I'm a Macaulay Honors student so I got part of my scholarships from my Macaulay Honors Opportunity Fund um, and then I also got some scholarships from John Jay which is my home campus so it was a pretty pricey trip compared to other trips because a flight to anywhere in West Africa is at least two thousand to twenty five hundred dollars so um, in addition to my program fees and my flight uh, I was probably spending around 8k just to live and get there and like study so but I was really gr grateful that I had all these scholarships to fund it. Um, my experiences there come up a lot in whatever class I'm taking um, for example in my international development well I think it's called development of international nations and developing countries course um, one of our professors she's always asking us like oh how should we be addressing this this situation or that situation or um, what does a foreign uh, mindset look like for certain situations and I will always bring up like well we don't really know because we don't know the culture of this country like I can't tell you a solution sitting in America for a country in Southeast Asia because I don't know what the people need I don't know what their cultural boundaries are and their cultural norms and restrictions are uh, so for me to just be sitting here and saying oh we should like apply this solution and like they'll be all better is such a naive and um, like backward thinking mindset.